Hey, Mike with DVD Millionaire here. And does how you say it really matter when you're selling door to door? Well, today's video, I'm gonna cover that topic and give you some different insights of how to get better results while you're selling door to door. So there's several different factors that you wanna master while you're selling door to door. Of course, what to say is a very important thing, but at the same time, how you say it is just as important a factor while getting results while selling door to door. So one thing to really understand and keep in mind while you're selling door to door, and one thing to focus on when it comes to how you say it, is basically the volume that you're speaking while you're selling door to door. Now sometimes what happens is sales reps will talk way too loud or at the same time they'll talk way too quiet and basically ideally what you want to do is have a volume level of a 7 out of 10. Now what this does, it's going to help you portray confidence and conviction in what you do because when you're talking way too loud, it comes off as that stereotypical salesperson you can actually push your potential customers away from you, but when you're too quiet, it shows a lack of confidence or maybe that you don't know what you're talking about and can really affect whether that person wants to buy from you or not. On top of that, another thing to keep in mind when it comes to how you say it is how fast are you talking? See again, stereotypical salespeople, what they do is they have that image of being like that fast talking, slick salesperson. And again, that's really what you want to avoid. Ideally, you want to come off as a messenger of good news. And so again, by having a, a normal pace as you're explaining your products and services, the better job it's going to portray you and just that person that's there to help that's there to deliver good news because what happens is when you talk way too fast again it can throw up potential red flags for your potential customers so again it can put you in that category of being that stereotypical salesperson that's just there to make a sale just there to make a commission rather than actually caring about them so that's one important reason to slow down Another one is it can create that feeling that you're nervous or you lack confidence or maybe you don't necessarily know what you're talking about. And again, the last thing you want to do is have in your potential customer's mind them thinking basically that you don't know what you're talking about, that what you're offering isn't really that great. So again, you want to have that normal natural pace of a conversation when you're talking to that potential customer. On top of that, when you talk way too fast, it misses a lot of opportunities to actually listen to your potential customer. And again, if you don't find out their needs and wants or what you can help them with, basically you're just trying to throw your information out there. You're just trying to pitch them and convince them and hope that what you're talking about is actually of interest to them, that actually benefits them, rather than taking the time to find out more questions, learn more about that potential customer, and again, find out their needs and wants, because again, when you do that, it makes it a whole lot easier to position what you offer as a solution to what they're actually looking for. So again, talking a little bit slower can help with that. At the same time, when you talk too fast, it eliminates the ability to use silence to your advantage. So again, anytime you ask a closing question to your potential customer, you want to stop talking. You don't want to interrupt yourself and basically talk yourself out of the sale. So again, slow things down a little bit to get some better results. Use those pauses, use silence to your advantage. Again, anytime you ask a question, it puts you in control. It puts that potential customer in a situation where they have to answer or it's weird, right? So you want to ask them those questions. So just slow it down a little bit and you can get better results as well. Another area that you want to focus on when it comes to how you say it is basically your tonality and pitch when you're talking to your potential customer. Again, when you use the right tonality, it can portray confidence, it can portray uh, dependability, uh, consistency, right? So when you have the right tonality and pitch, it creates that feeling. When you have the wrong pitch, it basically eliminates that feeling. And so again, instead of ending things in statement form, you're asking questions and your tonality might be meek and mild. Again, portraying that lack of confidence that what you have isn't that great, what you have to offer isn't that great of a deal, uh, all these different things. So ideally, you wanna have the right pitch, the right tone, talk at a normal pace, talk at a volume level that's not too over the top, but also not too quiet. So it can create that feeling that you're an expert, you know what you're talking about, 
what you have is valuable and again it gives you the time and the opportunity to gather more information and find out more about your potential customer to better provide your solution to their needs to what they want through your products and services so again take it down a little bit pay attention to how you're saying it not just what you say and you can get a lot better results while you're selling door to door so again hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video if you did feel free to comment and share and if you do happen to be considering a new door to door sales opportunity this upcoming season be sure to reach out to us over at d2dmillionaire.com forward slash work with d2d and actually fill out that application there and learn more about joining our d2d millionaire team so again if you'd like to learn more about working directly with us and our team head on over to d2dmillionaire.com forward slash work with d2d and then like i said fill out that application and one of our team members will get back to you as soon as we can to help and see if it's a fit working with us and the d2d millionaire team but thanks so much for tuning in we'll talk to you more soon